Hello everyone, this is Alex from Bad Decks Play Badly and this is match number 5 with White Light From Within. We're currently 3-1 and one, so we've already got a winning record and we're hoping to make it 4-1 and one for the best record of the channel to date. Um, I'm going to keep this. So, we did okay in the last game but it was just against humans and their deck was just slightly more resilient than ours. We kept in it longer than we probably should have just because of all our lifelink but I think we did okay. It, it was a loss, but we got at least uh, one of the matches from them, so I don't feel so bad about it. So they're playing a Blood Crypt, I thought it better not be Graveyard. Okay, I'm going to play this tapped. And what am I going to grab? Um, okay, I'm going to grab a Light from within, any order. I'm going to pass turn. So they've suspended a Lotus Bloom, I just realised. I missed that. So they're going to be getting some big stuff soon. Okay. So they're playing blue as well. Is this going to be Death Shadow? Riftwing Cloud Skate. Okay. Alright, so they're playing a Suspend deck. That's cool. I've actually been tempted to make a Suspend deck a few times. So I'm just going to start hitting creatures and then... Just hope for the best, really. It's a pretty cool card. I like the idea of suspending stuff cheap early just to get it back later. I mean, it's only a 2 2, but return target permanent to its owner's hand, so it could be a land or anything. I'd be surprised if it was a land. So I'm going to go in and attack. Hold up my bravey elements just in case they want to do something bad to it. So they're probably going to counter wherever I play, which is to be expected when you're playing blue. Is it a remand? Oh no, nothing. Alright. What are they going to play in their end step? Okay, telling time. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of those cards in your hand, and one on top of your library. Okay. Pretty good card, sifting, telling time. I like the card. Although the fact that they're just making sure they get their draws is always a bit irritating. The good thing is about the um, the Riftwing Cloudscape is that it's only a 2-2 flyer. So they might have an issue dealing with our aerial responders. Okay. That's <laughs> so what they're going to do. I don't like the fact they're ramping. <laughs> I really don't like that. Okay, so playing another land. Okay, Coalition Relic. Add one mana value card, but charge. Okay, so there's more ramp. Okay, so they're, gonna, they're playing stuff that they're going to be playing stuff that's quite broken. I'm going to play another Wind Brisk Heights. Uh, I guess I'll just take a plane then, won't I? That's good actually, because we could have flooded out majorly then. Attack. So that's four damage. Okay, and play another responder. So next turn, if I remember, uh, do, 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 yep. Okay, you get your stuff. I'm gonna get one back to my land, my hand. I'm just wondering if if it's is it if they attack? You may pay a soul card as pain cost if you attack with three, so I don't have to deal with damage. Okay, cool. Okay, that's fine. It's not that big a deal. So I'm kind of curious what what they're ramping into. I'm sure it's not gonna be good for us. Having a little ponder. Good thing is we are definitely uh, smashing face. And they've got to start dealing with our creatures soon. But in the colours they're playing, they're gonna have answers. Okay. Right, this isn't good. They're gonna be playing um Oh a Nicobola. <laughs> oh no. 
Destroy target non-creature permanent, yep. Gain control of target creature. Oh my goodness. That's just rude, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so I think we've got a way around this. Uh. Okay, so I need that Nick of Burlus dead. How can I do it this turn? I don't think I can do it this turn, but I can. I just can't, I just can't control it. So I can path one, get protection from the other. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. A path one. So you can affect your normal land. Okay, I'm going to play a another aerial responder. I just can't have that Nicobolus live. And then I'm going to get protection from blue. So I need Nicobolus dead, annoyingly. So next turn I should be able to kill him. He can destroy a land of mine. But he can't gain control of any of my creatures again, which is good. Hmm, Planeswalkers are always tough to play against. Especially, I mean, he's one of the most powerful Planeswalkers in Magic, so... That's fair enough. Okay. So right now it all depends whether they can counter, which I think they they can. So I'm gonna play a Knight of the Meadow Brain. So I'm gonna keep attacking Nicobolas. Protection from blue again. Right, so Nicobolus is down. Whew, okay, thank goodness for that. That was definitely a clench bum hole time. So probably just gonna slam another one now and then I might just scoop because I <laughs> I don't think I can I can't think I can survive two more. No, another one. Okay, I'm going to block. Why would they do that? Very strange. Okay, they're getting a lot of destroy all creatures. Okay. So we've got board wipe stuff to play around. That's good to know. Oh, that's just awful, isn't it? Play a land, pass a turn. Hmm. I think mana type in my sideboard is going to be quite good against this. So they've got a land, they've got stuff they've ramped into, but taking down that Nicola Bolas. Nicole Bolas has uh, definitely slowed our little plan down. So I assume they just have uh, counters now for days. I mean, I've got to slam it, but let's see how this goes. Where's the counter? It might just have removal. Okay, well, it is an 8-8. We'll see how this goes. Oh, they're just going to murder it, aren't they? It's going to be... Huh. Return target creature card from your graveyard. Uh, with a mannequin counter on it, as for as long as the creature has a mannequin counter on it, it has when this creature becomes a target of speller ability, sacrifice it. Okay. <laughs> That's just annoying, isn't it? I like that. That's cool. So a nice little synergy. Okay, so they're, they're still ramping. They've got stuff they can do. Yeah, okay, so 
Okay, yep, I'll take the hit. And I'll just play another one. See how this goes. It's still fine there. I'm tempted to hold one back purely because of um, another board wipe. It's definitely an interesting sort of control deck, isn't it? I mean, you are down to one card in hand. I would love to know what that card is, in all honesty. Okay, so I'm going to go attacking. I'm going to hold up this path. Are you letting it through? Okay. I'm going to play a planes and pass the turn. I don't really want to run out of Divinity of Pride into um, into another counter. I, good thing is I can just get rid of a uh, Riftwing. Um, I don't know why I'm so tense right now. I've, I've, I think we're doing okay. But as I've told you before, even without the um, Light from Within, the Divinity of Pride, 8-8 Flying Lifelink is just very good. Oh, come on, really? Deal 7 damage to target opponent, Cre creature in opponent's control, planes, walkers in opponent controls. So, target opponent exiles cards on top of their library until they play a non land permanent. Okay, I still think we've got this. I think we can still win this. They've got, they've got something, I just don't want to know what it is. Yep, okay, we got the win, we just got there. We just, we just got there. So, protection from black and from red, yep. Protection from black, yep. Uh, another Moon Crusader, don't know why it's weirdly glitching out on me. Oblivion Ring, yep. Stony Silence, good, yes. Falia, yep. I mean, I've got a lot of good cyborg cards against this deck. Enter part field, you may XL artifact, yep. Okay, so. Take out one Divinity of Pride. I'll take out a path. I'll take out a Bravey Elements. I think I might just do a general thinning overall. It's uh, a tough one to, to do, though. Hmm. Huh. General 1, 2, 3, okay, Knight of one of them down, and take out a Triumph Militant. Okay, so I've just had a complete general thinning, and we'll see how this goes. It's very close. Um, yep, yeah, I'll take this. We haven't got any two drops, but we do have protection from black and from green. So two drop would be nice. Okay, that's not so bad actually. I think a stony silence could actually really mess with them. Okay, this is absolutely, absolutely perfect. So they've got no counters to now. And what have we got opponent? Stony silence, that's their ramp gone until they remove it. <laughs> That'll really annoy them actually. Cyborg cards coming into full effect. Okay, so I'm gonna play a Mirren Crusader. Protection from black and from green. So already we're setting ourselves up nicely. I mean, they could have burn if they have some bolts maybe. That could really ruin our day. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, they needed that gone. I can understand that. So I'm going to tap. Yep, for it would. So I can play this now, can I? Hmm. I'm going to play an aerial responder and then leave up Bravey Elements for protection.
Okay. So they've got one, two, three, four, five land right now. Six. So still not ideal. Hmm. I don't want to start putting. So I'm going to play a Benelish Marshal and then going attacking. So I've got a feeling they're going to have more board wipes. Luckily this gets all around Drowning Sorrow. I'll take protection from Black, thank you very much. Yeah, there you go. Take that, control deck. Annoyingly, they can still wipe us. So now I'm gonna. So now I'm going to keep um, Slammy Light from Wins now, and at least I've got a Sarah Avenger as backup if they wipe us. But our clock is gonna get very quick, uh, very quickly. If this, if any of these resolve, we definitely slowed uh, Nico Bolas plan down. Nicole Bolas, sorry, I keep saying Nico. <laughs> Nicole Bolas, Bolas, yeah. So they're going to destroy all again, are they? Is that a thing they want to do? Okay, that's not that's that's to be to be expected. We shield. Yep, off he goes. Boo. I mean, they've got so many answers for our creatures. The fact that we got a wave at last time, I'm actually quite impressed. Oh, wow. Okay, right. So we're just going to slam one after the other. Does it resolve? Does it resolve? Let it resolve, please. Okay, an attack. They'll probably end up killing it, but. As long as we keep drawing creatures, it's fine. So I'm just going to keep slanging light from within. I'm going to keep Sarah Avenger back just in case they board wipe. And we'll see how it goes. That's kind of my plan. I think Nicol Bolas is 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so they're very close to that now. Where are you going to play it now? Oh god, I hate playing against Blaine Talkers. They're so good, aren't they? Oh my prize to sacrifice. The creature discards three cards, then loses five life. Wow. Okay, that's that's actually wrecked us. Okay, so now we're in top deck mode. We'll see how this goes. God I wish we had counters, and a nice new gate would be pretty sweet. Please don't be land. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna play another one. Pass the turn. So I think we're, we're kind of in trouble. I actually thought I had a mana tithe in my sideboard, but I actually don't. The thing is, any one of our creatures becomes a threat now. An Oblivion Ring would be brilliant. That's why I kind of, that's why I want. Because I've got a feeling that Planeswalkers is going to be coming very soon. That's a turn. I still don't want land. I know I can play this at some point, but I just don't care. I don't want land. So we've managed to slow them down with stony silences, but we're still no closer to winning. Just several board wipes. There's just okay. Yeah, this is very very bad. Each X has two cards from their hand, so. So what, what path to exile into the battlefield reveals the name? Time to exile's cards from the top of their library until they exile a non card. Yeah, until end of turn, you may cast that. Okay. So until their end of turn. Alright, that's not so bad. It's not until your next turn. Until end of turn. Okay, right, that's fine. Okay. It's something. It's something. They can just kill it. But I'm fine with that. 
So we're just kind of hoping to draw into our um, Oblivion Ring. I mean, this level of control is just the worst matchup for us. It really is awful. Okay, fair enough. Gonna get rid of light from within, I guess. Yeah. Just brutal. Because annoyingly they can deal some, yeah. Horrific, really. I mean, I've got to just attack the Bolust, but it's no good, really, is it? It's just too good. At least I get it back, that's good. I mean, that stony silence is keeping them off a lot of their land, which is fine. I mean, they've got six cars in hand. All the land in the world. Hmm. I'm tempted to scoop because it's just very unlikely they've got no removal or no counters in their entire hand. Oh, see how this goes. Counter. It does have protection from black and from red. Which is pretty good because all their removal is in black and red. So I'm just, I think I'm just going to attack face with this guy. They're going to play another one, aren't they? A cruel ultimatum. <laughs> they realise it costs one more. This is very frustrating. Very frustrating. Oblivion Ring still could save my back, save us here. Come on, Oblivion Ring. <sighs> okay, well, might as well play it. See how this goes. It's a 9 9, so that's something for them to deal with. I'm going to attack Bolas. It's got protection from black, remember? Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, that's still fine. Yeah, telling time is not good for us. I'm not telling time uh, echoing truth. Yep, okay. So I'm going to have to play light from within. Uh, okay, right. I'm conceding. I can't come back from this. Right, that didn't go well. Um, I think we've still got the right setup. It's just... Yeah, I'm just going to run it back, but they just got quite lucky. We've still got the right setup. It's the best as our deck's going to get, but... It's... Yeah, it, this is a tough one. This is going to be a tough game. Just this level of control is really is a nightmare. Okay. Yes. Um, I'll keep this. I've got my answers at least. I've got a way of ramping. This is gonna, yeah, this will have to do. Yep, the Duke of Borg. Exiles my empty gra graveyard. Stony Silence. So we just need to smash face, that's our plan. We'll see how it goes. It's 
Smash face, smash face, smash face. They're gonna counter? Okay. Alright, so they can ramp with their land. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm just going to play a light from within, I think. So at least gets around some of their, some of their board wipes. Just straight up play it now. <clears throat> Have they got a counter? Remand? No. Okay, so they're just they're just ramping up. So I just need to get that down because they've got a drown in sorrows, which is minus two to all my creatures, and I just can't deal with that. But with this down, I've got a bit more of a chance. I'm happy I've got, I've got an Oblivion Ring. But they're gonna hand hate, chances are. They're gonna get me to discard like they did last time. So, really, Oblivion Ring, I would like a top deck. So, they've got. Let's say, remove. Hmm. Okay, I'm worried they're gonna do something horrible to us. It's gonna be cool to meet me. Okay, sweet mom. Yep. Doesn't stay around though at least, which is good. Okay. So aerial responders coming down next. I mean they're gonna have removal, but the sheer quantity of removal they have. <laughs> it's just, it is smashing us. What are they playing now? They're gonna, when it enters the battlefield, put target non-land permanent on top of its owner's library. Okay, that's just irritating, isn't it? When it leaves the battlefield, all right. So I'm gonna attack into it, because I need, to, I need to get rid of it. I'm probably going to play a Mirren Crusader. Yep, that's fine. We knew this would happen. So whenever it leaves the battlefield, I can't even Oblivion ring it, so I've, this is just an obstacle I'm going to have to deal with. Are they going to return my creature? Or are they going to? Yeah, they are. Okay. But double striker protection from green and from black. So that's something for them to deal with. They're gonna make me sacrifice it, aren't they? But a horrible feeling. I mean another light from within allows me to smash them for what? So four four or now that's eight plus another two. So yeah, so twelve damage I can do with this Mirren Crusader. That's if I don't kill it, which they're going to. So they're adding two mana. Three, four, five, six. They're gonna get rid of something. Okay, this one, yep, yeah, right. Look at Bolas, how dare you. It's just so irritating, isn't it? But joke's on them. I'm going to Oblivion Ring the Nicobolas. Or... Hmm. I'm going to... Oh, I really don't know now. Okay, I'm, I am going to Oblivion Ring it, just whilst I can, because they've got so much hand disruption. That does cause issues for me. And I'm just going to pass that, because... I want to smash face. I need them to be able to... I need them to be in a bit of an... Like, I need to put them on a clock. And that's definitely doing that. 
So they have to kill this or get a jump blocker or something. So yeah, they're going searching now. I think we... Do we have the win? This is it. That's the problem with all their removals in black. So... Clench bum hole. <laughs> Come on. They do have Echoing Truth. So they could return it. And get Nico Bolas back. Yes! <laughs> yes! That was a really expensive deck we just took down. Yes. Okay, so guys, we are four and one. This is the best record on the uh, on the channel so far. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, if you do want to check out what's in the deck, check out the description down below. Uh, all the links should be there. Um, wow, that went really, really well. It just shows that just relentless, big, you know, pumped up creatures can beat the best of decks if they just don't find the answers quickly enough. And they didn't. So yeah, that, that was awesome. I'm, I'm so I'm I'm happy with that. Four and one, guys. Winning record. If you uh, like what I do, guys, uh, please give me a like. Please give me a subscription. That'd be great. Uh, leave comments as well. I really like responding to you guys and, you know, seeing uh, what the, our little community says. I mean, our community is slowly growing. I think we're up to, as of recording, 25 subscribers, which is, uh, to be honest, I'm surprised I got that many. Who, who's listening to me, eh? <laughs> All right. Well, have a good one, guys, and uh, I'll see you for the next deck. I've got a few ideas, but I'm not sure yet. I'll work on one. So I'll see you guys later on, alright? Bye.